In this video, we provide an introduction to logic gates and logic circuits. So on the screen now, we see an example of a logic diagram created using a selection of AND, OR and NOT gates. Now these are also sometimes referred to as circuit diagrams or logic circuits. The actual logic diagram we're looking at here is of an half adder. Now it's not something you'll learn about in the IGTC course, but you might come up against it if you carry on studying this topic at a higher level. So we're going to go through the different logic gates that you need to be aware of and their associated truth tables. This is the symbol for a NOT gate. A NOT gate reverses the input. If input A is 0, false or off, then the output is 1, true or on. If the input A is 1, true or on, then the output is the opposite, 0, false or off. This is the symbol for an AND gate. An AND gate's output is true if both of its inputs are true, otherwise the output is false. So if input A is 0 and B is 0, the output is 0. If input A is 0 and B is 1, then the output is 0. If we flip this and turn A to 1 and B to 0, the output is 0. But if both inputs A and B are 1, then the output is 1. Here we see the symbol for an OR gate. Now with an OR gate, the output is true if at least one of its inputs is true. Otherwise, the output is false. So if the input A is 0 and B is 0, then output is 0. If A is 0 and B is 1, the output is 1. If A is 1 and B is 0, the output is 1. And likewise, if both inputs are 1, the output is 1. This is the symbol for a NAND gate. A NAND gate is like putting an AND and a NOT gate together. It effectively reverses the output from an AND gate. So if input A is 0 and B is 0, the output is 1. If the input A is 0 and B is 1, the output is 1. If the input A is 1 and B is 0, then the output is 1. And if the input A is 1 and B is 1, then the output is 0. Next, we have the symbol for a NOR gate. This operates in a similar way to a NAND gate, apart from this time, it's like putting an OR and a NOT gate together, therefore effectively reversing the output from an OR gate. So if input A is 0 and B is 0, the output is 1. If input A is 0 and B is 1, then the output is 0. If input A is 1 and B is 0, then the output is 0. And if input A is 1 and B is 1, then the output is 0. Finally, we have what's called an XOR gate or an exclusive OR. Now, with an exclusive OR gate, the output is true if one and only one of its inputs are true. Otherwise, the output is false. So if A is 0 and B is 0, the output is 0. If A is 0 and B is 1, the output is 1. If A is 1 and B is 0, the output is 1. And finally, if A is 1 and B is 1, the output is 0. On the screen now is a summary of the six different logic gates that you'll need to be familiar with for the exam and their associated truth tables. This underpins a lot of the work we'll do in the next video and everything about this topic. So pause the video and take some notes. Now we've provided a handy way here of trying to remember the symbols. So I tend to think of the OR symbol by taking the curve from the letter O of the word OR, and that reminds me of the OR symbol. XOR is the same as the OR symbol, but we have an extra curve at the front there on the left. And I think of that as a line being crossed through the O for XOR. The 
NAND gate. I tend to remember that by thinking of the capital letter D on the end of the word AND, forming the straight line and the curve for the AND symbol. The NOT gate, I tend to think of the letter T, the capital letter T on its side. And this is a handy way of remembering it's the only gate with a single input. We obviously then obviously also have the NAND and the NOR gate. Well, if you simply remember the standard way of drawing those two symbols, and then we add the circle that belongs to the NOT gate. You can come up with your own method, but this is how I originally learned the gates many years ago.